to understand what are lambda expressions. These are used quite often and we have to get a clarity of the concept behind lambda expressions. So we'll start this way. Consider this statement. This defines a delegate called t result uh, called func. The name of the delegate is func. Its return type is t result. R is the return type, N is the name. This is the generics for the func. And this is the type of argument that the function is expecting. So, this is the delegate. The delegate name is func t1 t result and t result is the type of result and t1 is the type of argument. This is a delegate that has been defined using the generics syntax. t result will be any type. So we can write let us say public delegate bool func then t1 could be let us say int comma bool comma in, uh, int arg this is the name of the delegate func int bool this means that any th that this is func it takes an argument of type uh, argument of type int and returns a data type of type bool so if somebody says it is written like this func int comma bool and we create its object then obj will represent any function that takes an argument of type int and returns a bool. So this is a convenient syntax of defining a delegate where the type of return type and the type of arguments is easily readable from this expression. Similarly if somebody wrote func int comma int comma bool obj then this func represents a function that takes two arguments int int and returns bool the last argument is always the return type and obj is an identifier for this delegate func name is predefined system dot link dot expressions probably this is the namespace otherwise you can check up the documentation this func is a predefined name func represents a function signature including its return type This func takes one argument and returns a bool. This is a two argument func. So first of all this terminology you should be very clear about. In documentation you will find this func written at many places. So func is a predefined delegate. And a delegate as we know in thumb rule or in nutshell it represents a function signature along with its return type. So here this delegate func, this is the name of the delegate. Its return type is t result and argument is t1 arc. And if we pack them into a generic expression then this one is sufficient 
then this part 